Richard, black holes are one of the most remarkable things, not only that exist, but that we can conceive to exist. From the physics of black holes, what can we learn about the structure of, of reality? Well, black holes are very important to us because when things collapse to a black hole, uh, the standard theory of general relativity says that there'll be a singularity formed, a state of infinite density, infinite curvature in there. But we believe that quantum mechanics will eventually smooth this out. So we're very interested to understand what might be going on in the center of a black hole. Um, a rotating black hole can even have a region of time travel trapped inside. And if you have a collapsing string loop, a loop of cosmic string that collapses to form a black hole, um, we'd like to know whether you can get to this time travel region inside. Um, we would like to know um, uh, what happens, and we may need to know the laws of quantum gravity to understand that, how gravity behaves on microscopic scales. Um, as we pass into um, uh, the different regions inside the black hole, um, we might encounter a singularity, but it might be weak so that it doesn't really tear your body apart, but yeah. just like going over a speed bump. You'd, you'd notice a jolt, but you could survive to go through into a time travel region, for example. Is that conceivable? Um, well, yes, the, 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 the studies that we've done, that Ori and other people have done, of, of the insides of black holes look like uh, there's interesting region which would potentially have time travel in it that um, there's only blocking your way maybe a weak singularity which would which might not tear your body apart. I and mean, that sounds like a contradiction in terms because the singularity is supposed to be infinite density and and and, and that and, and there's nothing more powerful that would tear your body apart that would suck it to, down to microscopic levels. Well, the tidal forces would build up to an infinite amount, but if they only last for an infinitesimal amount of time, then they might not rip your body completely <laughs> apart. This would be the hope. So um, we also realize that singularities, states of infinite density, um, quantum mechanics doesn't like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it tends to blur these out so that instead uh, of actually getting an infinite singularity in the black hole, this might be blurred by the uncertainty principle so that you have a very high density region but not infinite density. So then once you pass through that region, well, where does it lead? Does it lead to another universe and so forth? So the conditions also in the black hole are very similar to the high density singularity kind of conditions that you think about from the Big Bang, from the beginning of the universe. So black holes are sort of a laboratory for us to think about what might have happened in the, in the, in the very early universe. And indeed, there are people like uh, Smolin who think that uh, universes might be, other universes might be born out of black holes that branch off from, from our universe. So black holes are important for understanding these questions, and they're a place where um, the physics is being tested in the extreme limit. Is there any possibility of testing it experimentally or observationally as well as theoretically? Well, unfortunately, to really do the experiments necessary, you'd need to go in the black hole. And, and then your, your reports, your light waves showing your reports, wouldn't get back outside. Um, so currently, we're exploring these theoretically using Einstein's equations. And ultimately, if we get a theory of everything or a theory of quantum gravity, the first thing we'll do with those is to apply them to say, well, what happens in the black hole? And they'll give us some interesting answers. So, Well, I think what you're saying is also interesting to test whether a so-called theory of everything or string theory can indeed be true and internally consistent because it has to work within black hole physics. So you have to test a, 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 a putative theory of everything in black hole physics because if it doesn't work there, then it, it's not a theory of everything. Well, you have to see, um, that's one of the reasons time travel solutions are interesting. You want to see what formulations of quantum mechanics might work in a time travel region mm -hmm. where you could travel to the past or some other formulations might not. You might say, well, I'd like one that would work in all circumstances. Um, also, the 
um, you're interested in the singularity. You're interested in what happens when general relativity may begin to break down mm -hmm. and be influenced by quantum mechanics. Uh, this is a very important area and important for understanding the beginning of the universe. So we would certainly like to take our theories and apply them to black holes and to cosmology, to the beginning of the universe, and see what those theories predict. And it needs to be uh, effectively working in both cases. Well, it needs to have some solution because something happens inside the black uh -huh. hole and we, we'd like to know what.